<laughs> okay, it's so time for business. Emmanuel Abuaji, your face joining me now with a lot more. Hi, Emmanuel. Hi, it's Okay, How so it? apparently I'm supposed to be a farmer. Yes, you should be thinking <laughs> of going because we have so many untapped resources um, yeah. in the agri sector. True. And, and True. the Minister of Trade is urging foreign investors to go into such areas. Mm. Uh, agri has been the mainstay of our yeah, economy. Yeah. And, but but uh, is, it not surprising, is it not surprising that over the past three years or so, agri the fortunes of agric in the country have actually been declined dwindling. It is worrying. significantly. It is worrying, more especially when the youth are not too much enticed into yeah. agric. I mean, everybody wants a white-collar job. True. If even he's going to agric, he wants to sit at a cocoa board office <laughs> or somewhere to, you know, to make some, you know. But, but it's, it's really, it's the trend should change. Mm. And I think that I will follow suit. I think, I think that's going to be my next profession. I'm going to be a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so it's time for business. And the Minister of Trade and Industry, Dr. Ekos Gabra, is urging investors to take advantage of the business opportunities provided by Ghana's agri sector. According to him, the sector remains largely untapped, a phenomenon investors could capitalize on. He was speaking at the first in a series of networking events organized by the Ghana South Africa Business Chamber in partnership with Joy Business. We want to be as competitive as any other West African country. And the South Africans have done their own analysis. That's why you hear them saying they want Ghana to be the focal point and a hub for their business. The Italian Prime Minister was here only two weeks ago and he said they've selected Ghana and Botswana as the two countries for Italy to do most of their business in Africa. So other countries are doing the analysis and they reach, they end up concluding that Ghana is the place to be. The natural resources of Ghana are already well known, so it depends on what kind of agri sector one wants to go into. And so we can't really get into the specifics. Is it the rubber sector? Is it oil palm? Is it fruits and vegetables? Is it, you know, um, other kinds of horticulture or root crops, yams, cassava, etc. So depending on the sector that the, a particular investor wants to get into, if there's some special incentive they need to make that investment with, they negotiate it with the Ghana Investment Promotion Center. But otherwise, there's a wide range of tax-free and other capital um, credit opportunities that are available in our investment code. Away from that, traders at the agroglossy market are warning the prices of tomatoes are likely to double on, in the coming weeks. A Greek information service provider Isoko Ghana has also predicted an increase in the prices of tomatoes and some grains in the weeks ahead. So what exactly could be driving these factors? Details in this report by Sheila Tamaklu. More than half of the local demand for tomatoes is imported from Burkina Faso using the CFA front. The value of the CD has, however, been declining against the CFA front. This means the traders would need more CFA front to import the same quantity of tomatoes they have been importing. According to them, this coupled with the rising cost of transportation are bound to lead to the expected increases in the prices of the products. Mm. I see from December 20th. From the month of December to May, all the tomatoes are imported from Burkina Faso. So if the safer goes up, we will also increase the prices. And more I say for cost run. Nowadays, they create sales at 60,000 safer. When we factor in our transport and duties, it amounts to about 400 Ghana cities. But we sell it at 250 Ghana cities. So for this tomato business, we are only incurring losses. A Greek information service provider, Isoko Ghana, in its latest commodity index, also says the poor rainfall pattern so far recorded may lead to low yields. Speaking to Joy Business, senior business advisor George Kote Nikoi explained this would eventually push the prices of tomatoes and some grains upwards. The rainfall pattern, yes, was not that good last year. And this year, after harvest, and looking at how things have gone so far, it will affect our grains, especially maize. And then tomato too will be affected. It too, currently, tomato prices are going down because of the influx of the irrigated ones. But as it gets exhausted in the system, the price will hit rocket high. In the next two months, it should hit around 500, going to 600 per crate. And we know tomato is a perishable product. You can't store it for long. So until we get our processing plants running to absorb some of these things, the, most of them will get uh, perish. 
and the price will go up. There are fears Ghana's unfavorable climate may affect not only prices of the foodstuff, but also already resulted in acute water shortages across some parts of the country. And that's it for business for the morning. Join us again at midday for more news updates. My name is Imano Abuajiriafe.